Hey guys, welcome back. So one of you guys suggested that I do a video talking about and showing my favorite alternative fashion pieces that I own as well as the stories behind them. And I thought that was such a cute idea. So I'm gonna do that today. If you've seen a lot of the fashion videos on my channel, this video will probably be pretty repetitive. Everything I'm gonna show has been something that you've probably seen before if you watch this channel a lot. So just keep that in mind going into this video. I have my big ponytail extensions from Irresistible Me. The cat just put his whiskers in front of the lens. I have my hair extensions in from Irresistible Me and my blue eyeshadow. I don't know you guys, I've been watching a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race lately and I think I'm in my extra era. So let's just get right into the clothes. So this first thing um, that is one of my favorites of all time is this black gothic type skirt. There's not a huge story behind this other than the fact I thrifted it. I don't remember how much it was, but it was less than $10, I'm pretty sure. Probably like seven. It's so nice. I've showed this recently, so I won't get into it too much. Um, I think it goes really well with this corset, which I got from Depop a really long time ago. It was like one of the first things I ever bought from Depop. Um, it fits a little awkwardly. I'm not sure if I'm counting it as one of my favorite alternative pieces of all time but I am including it um, because it goes with the, the skirt I think um, and obviously this jacket I just made a whole video all about this jacket it is definitely one of my new favorite pieces um, if you haven't seen the video on it you can go watch it under the skirt I'm wearing these tights with pentagrams on them I absolutely love these my best friend gifted them to me for my birthday last year or the year before i think the year before it's a simple thing to include in this video but they're just so awesome and they go with like everything they add like an alternative touch to an outfit now let's talk about the demonias so these shoes have been through so much with me i think i got these in like 2016 i want to say I've heard there has been some controversy about demonias, like whether they're actually good or not. Some people's don't last. Mine are slightly falling apart, but they have been through everything. <laughs> and I mean everything. Every single time I went out at night, anywhere, club, bar, wherever, um, in my early 20s, I would wear these. When I started modeling, I insisted on wearing these in like every picture that I got to choose my own outfit. These were like my whole personality for a while. Um, I've worn these on random hikes and adventures through nature at night. I've worn these in the dirt, in the snow. I've thrown these in my trunk and had them jostle around for months. They have been through like everything. Maybe it's time I get some new ones, but I feel like they're still holding on. They're just like a little dirty and one of the soles is like kind of coming off a little bit, but they're still wearable. Um, I think they're gonna honestly last me a lot longer and they're really easy to walk in too. Like, I guess if you compare them to normal shoes, maybe they're not that easy, but they're definitely way easier than like heels or something like that. They never hurt my feet after hours of wear. These are just like my favorite shoes of all time. This shirt is probably my all time favorite band t-shirt. Um, and I don't wear it that much. And let me tell you why. It is a size small and typically when I throw on a t-shirt I like go for a really big t-shirt because I'm going for comfort and on the other hand if I'm like super dressed up for something like I'm going out at night which I never do anymore something I do like once a year lately but um if I'm ever going out I want to wear like a little cute going out top this is bring me the rise in and sin eater this really cool artist they did a collab I knew I had to snag the tea I asked for it for Christmas and my mom got it for me and I'm honestly glad that I haven't worn it too much cuz this was a pretty long time ago and it's not like worn out at all it's in like pretty perfect condition I just absolutely fell in love with the art on this t-shirt and bring me the horizon being my favorite band I just knew this would be the perfect shirt for me next the trip skirt this skirt as well as the demonia boots was my entire personality in my early 20s i would wear this all the time anyone that knows me knows this is like my favorite skirt 
This skirt is Trip NYC, my one trip thing, and I got it in probably like 2015 or 2014. I was in college and I wanted to like experiment with some new looks and this was like one of the first things I got to really like express my alternative fashion. And I got it on eBay for like 20 bucks. And right after that, like a year or two after, trip got like super in style and the price of those like skyrocketed so i'm really lucky that i got this and of course my denim jacket with patches is one of my all-time favorite things because i've been working on it and adding to it for many years but i have a whole video on that so i'm not really going to talk about it too much now um, and these pants, which I have incorrectly referred to as trip pants, but they're actually not trip, they're Royal Bones, which is actually the same designer, but Royal Bones was a line created specifically for Hot Topic. And that's pretty much it. I feel like I mentioned my early 20s a lot in this video. I feel like that was kind of a defining time for me in terms of fashion. I got a lot of new things and a lot of my favorite things that I've kept for so long. Also, I forgot to do jewelry in this video, so maybe I'll make that a separate video. Um, let me know what you guys think, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.